Good day everyone. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I just want to pray and I want to encourage those that became cold and discouraged in watching for the return of Jesus. Uh, many were discouraged. Many are not even watching the videos anymore. Please continue to do so. Jesus is, is coming. The 49 years must be fulfilled, must be complete. 7 times 7 is 49. Now the last 7 years of Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week, or the 7 year tribulation as you call it, is will only be five years after Jesus shortened in the days. We have to full, uh, complete the full, seven, uh, uh, the, the full seven years, which is our 24 hours a day. Uh, but Jesus sliced it up to 20, 16 hours a day. And it must be actually 24. So, 2023 and 2024 follows that gap in for uh, Daniel's 70th week. So are we in Daniel's 70th week? Uh, we can literally say so because the, the, um, the birth pains are really increasing and it's intense people, it is intense. And even next year will be even more intense. So stay put. 2024 is Psalm 124 and Matthew 24, 24. Yes, that Psalm 120 is the rapture. Psalm 124, 7 is the rapture. And Matthew 24, 24 is when the Antichrist and the false prophet arrived on the scene. And that I'll read a scripture for you, uh, for you in a moment. It is in the second year, in the second year of the lean years, we, the, 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 the fat years of Pharaoh's dream actually ended on October 27, uh, that is 2022. Yeah, that's Feast of Trumpets is the beginning and the end. Yeah, that's the beginning and the end. It's the beginning when God created the world in, a, in, a, uh, in a six days and on the Feast of Trumpets on the first, first, first day and then God re, uh, rested. Yeah, and that will be the, be the same when Jesus comes and He will return. He will, uh, I believe the rapture will be on the Feast of Trumpets. I always believe that. And possibly, but I, for, for sure to say, I rather call it four feasts, either uh, a feast of tabernacles or feast of trumpets, but for, to, just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, stay with me now. I'm just going to read the scripture. Just let me show you that the Jewish Messiah meet with his brethren in the second year. That is towards the end of the second year. Did you know that Joseph, Joseph became prime minister on Feast of Trumpets? Yeah, Psalm 87 says, and I put that in and people just not interested in watching it. He became prime minister. Joseph became prime minister on Feast of Trumpets. And Joseph is a type of Jesus. What do you mean a type of Jesus? Jesus will also be crowned king on Feast of Trumpets. And that's likewise what the Jewish Messiah will also be crowned on that day. And um, stay put with me, because the feast days, the feast days, coming up feast days in 2024 is spot on. Every, uh, every year Israel is a month off, but this time they are spot on. And I'm going to show you that in a minute of time. Here's Psalm 120, 120. This, Psalm 124 says, Our help is in the name of the Lord. And that's what David, it's a song of David. Uh, of David. 
And David said in Psalm 124 verse 7, O soul is escaped as a bird out of a snare, or the fowler, or the fowlers, the snare is broken. And we are escaped people. That is the rapture. It's been said twice. Our soul is escaped. <laughs> and the snare is broken. Uh, the snare is finally broken. Uh, uh, when Jesus comes through the clouds. And he said, he, Jesus says, says, when you see these things coming, uh, uh, look, behold, your redemption is drawing now. And truly, our escape is in 2024, in the seventh month, people, in the seventh month. Now, when is the seventh month? This time it will be in October, uh, the beginning of October the 4th. And I'll show you in a minute in the, uh, the uh, Stellarium uh, what is going on there. And look, let's look at it uh, from there. That's a psalm. The psalm uh, 124. Let's go to Psalm uh, 20. Now Matthew 24. Uh, that is right in the beginning. But let's go to uh, uh, verse 24, where he say, "Yeah, Jesus said in Matthew 24, verse 24, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophet." The biblical false prophet and the uh, biblical for, uh, for, uh, antichrist comes on a scene right in 2024. Strangely, it says in Matthew 24, and we look every day at it and we miss that. We completely miss that. But God revealed all these things just in parts. There's no such a thing that we cannot know. It is there. Yeah. It, we didn't know it until then. And there we, you see, we didn't calculate. We didn't calculate Jesus' time when he said he's going to shorten the days. He said so even uh, in this for relaxed sake, he will shorten the days. And, uh, and he's, where does he shorten the days? We can find it in Revelation 8 verse 12, where he shortened the days by a, uh, the 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 night by a third, the day by a third, the sun by a third, the moon by a third, and the stars by a third. In actual effect, he slices it from 24 hours a day to 16 hours a day. And that's what God did. So now, of course, there's two years short, and we're working in, uh, we basically we're working in that seven times seven, it must be 49 years, as I said earlier. So we're setting it out now, 2023 and 2024. And uh, what's when I want to see that? They don't want to believe it. So I would really love, please, people, I really would love Jesus to come much earlier. But it's use, uh, useless to look for a needle in a haystack every month if, if it is like that. The 49 years, it must be 7 years, or 24 hours a day, not 16 hours a day. So we're setting it out, yeah, for those believers in uh, that coming to uh, Christ in the uh, tribulation period. Because Jesus said, if it's for the elect's sake, who is the elect in that, and not us, it is for those who are coming through. The left behind, the, the, it is for the left behind, the, those that are were lukewarm, those who didn't watch, and the new believers, they will be the elect then. And for their sake, for the elect's sake, Jesus will shorten the days. And he said, behold, I told you before. I told you before. So let it sink in. I told you before. Where if... Uh, uh, and he even mentioned uh, the the Antichrist here for his lightning. By his lightning means Bama. Yeah. Um, out of the east coming, that is was his uh, birthplace. And is even shining in the, uh, uh, in the west as President of the United States. So shall also be the coming of the Son of the Man be. Yes, in a, in a rapture, uh, of course, he will be... He will not come into power. He will only come to power in the second half 
And that, of course, number 45 comes first in the end number 44. Yeah, so that's what the Bible say. So let's carry on to uh, the Stellarium. Here's the Stellarium. Here's 2024, the fourth, that is, is at 22. And believe me, I'm telling you, it's the only feast day that is 100% correct. If we look at uh, a year in Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah 2025785, that of course it says a Jewish year, but it's also God's, God's, God's year also starts on a um, feast of trumpets. Like I told you in the beginning, feast of uh, the seven fat years in the 20, October 27, 2022 it ended, and then the lean years began on that same day. We actually go into the fifth month now, into the fifth month of those lean years. Right here in South Africa, the fuel price is going up uh, again uh, on the 28th of this month. And I've seen in March uh, uh, in, a, in the United States, the, the price of gas is going up again. Every, every week when we get to the, to the supermarket, I'm telling there's increases, either by two rand. You know a tub of yogurt used to be 15 rand? Do you know how much is this now? 40 rand in our money. 40 rand. 15, it was 15 rand. Now it is 40 rand. Who can be able to afford it? A uh, uh, two litre milk is 40 rand people, for a six pack of milk, uh, South Africans love their milk, and of course 120 rand for uh, six, six, uh, uh, six boxes, or well, six litres of milk, 120 rand people, I can't convert that now to dollar for those six, but you can do it yourself, but just imagine that is $120 you have to pay for so, so much. Uh, a friend of mine from California, he said the other day that the gas prices actually went up by over 400%. The same year in South Africa. It's we going into the first uh, lean bees, uh, uh, the thin bees is eating up all the profit now, or the fur, or the uh, although seventh, the seventh of the last year. So every day, year and month is getting more difficult. Now imagine we still, okay, how does it feel in Africa, people? How does it feel, how does Africa, the, the low income groups, manage that? But they used to poverty. We're not used to, you used to, they know how to live off a field. And that is, that is the truth, people. That is the truth. So here, uh, what does it say? Rosh Hashanah literally means the head of the, the year. is a Jewish New Year. God's New Year also start on there. And that's a high holiday for the, for the Jews. Feast of, the Feast of God is for every believer in Christ. Many people say it's abomination, but it's not. It's God's Feast. It's not Jewish Feast. It's not Jewish Feast at all. God gave us the feast days for us to go. And I'm telling you, I love the feast. Feast days is coming up now. And I can't wait for Passover. I can't wait for God to bless me every year. That's true. I'm, I'm serious, people. God is a God of blessing. And if you have only a little, little faith in believing it, and look at the seven promises there. I love for those seven promises, people. I love for it. I love it. <laughs> Read it from Exodus, to, Exodus 23, from 14, uh, this, uh, to until verse 30. 30. Uh, seven promises God uh, gave us there. So these are the dates just for us and now. That was off. Look at that. Now this is for uh, the Thieves of Trumpets. They were totally all there. They were month of the. They were month of year. Year this year again, 15 to 7, it is a month of. 
But having said that, for October, and I checked the Stellarium, it is spot on, people. Why is it spot on? It is spot on because Jesus is coming. Jesus is returning there. Although 2017, uh, 2027 uh, is also correct, but all the rest is, uh, the rest is off. So here it is spot on because Jesus is definitely coming. And the, and the Jews will see Jesus coming. Israel will see Jesus coming and they will literally be jealous when they see believers in Christ as being raptured and not them. But so likewise will the false Messiah also meet up with them. And they will meet up in the second year of Pharaoh's uh, dream, the seven lean, uh, fat cows and the seven, uh, seven uh, lean cows. So it will be in the second year, end of, uh, uh, the, of the second year, Joseph met with his brethren, and so likewise will the Jewish Messiah also meet with them. Yeah, so that is now, let's look at, at uh, uh, this is, uh, when it, this is Passover. Now let's look at the Passover. Uh, uh, their holidays start, this is, the, this, is, this is wrong. I checked the date. For, for, you see, for, for Passover, the sun has to be in Aries. And it's not. The sign here, the sign is here actually in, um, in the two fishes in Pisces. That is where the sun is. But for 2024, it is exactly on the spot. I'll show you here for, for you. This is 2020, the second, let's just enlarge that. Uh, that is the 22nd when Passover begin, And that will, of course, and I'll be until the, the 30th. The 30th, there's the 23rd, the 24th, 25th, 26th. 27, 28, 28 uh, th uh, th 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 the sun is in, uh, in, in, in Aries. Now, if you look at, at uh, and of course the sun, uh, the sun has to be in Virgo for Feast of Trumpets. And most of the time it is not. You can get almost two Feast of Trumpets uh, in, uh, uh, because the sun uh, will either be at the top of the head or in the midriff, it should be at the midriff more or less where, where that is when the real Feast of Trumpets is. So here the sun for 2024, it, uh, it is 100% correct. And that is another sign that Jesus is coming. I believe that Jesus is coming in 2024. I know it's late, I know it's, it's long to wait. It's precisely there and it's a countdown. If you look at, uh, look at the, uh, the, the time frame, not the time frame, the, and the solar eclipse. Now I want to mention the solar eclipse there. There's a solar eclipse, a solar eclipse on the beginning of Feast of Trumpets. Uh, the thing is just on my way here. That's, I don't want to put, add that, but it's, there's a countdown actually, 584 hours, uh, that is a days and the hours for 8, 49 seconds. And they will, right, uh, the Feast of Trumpets begin on 2nd of October, uh, 2024, and there will be an annual solar eclipse on that day. There will also be another one in uh, April the 8th over America. This one of course is over South, uh, South America. You'll just see at the part of South America there. And there will be a solar eclipse there. And that is the final warning before Jesus is coming. Yeah. In 2023 there will also be a ring of fire uh, on uh, Feast of Trumpets. Not uh, also the Feast of Trumpets, no, the real one. That is of course in October. I think it's October the 24th, and they do give it uh, uh, dates here. Um, uh, of course, not on this one. Yeah. So uh, that that will be solar eclipse. So back to the let uh, me just demonstrate that solar eclipse for you there. Uh, this is of the 
tenth month, tenth month, and that will be on uh, that will be on the second, second. That will be on the second. So let's just go over to uh, where Virgo is. Yeah, Virgo. Is, uh, there's Virgo, and uh, that's the moon. Uh, that's the second night. You see, there's a solar eclipse. Solar eclipse are right there. If you just turn a little bit backwards, yeah, there's a solar eclipse uh, on twenty uh, the second. That is in the beginning, or the, that is on a Wednesday starts of the year on a Wednesday night, and uh, then this is on the Wednesday evening, the solar club starting, and then on the fourth, on the fourth of it will be, it will be feast of trumpets. So how do you check that? If you can see if the moon will be uh, visible on that evening, you see there is a slither, there is a slither of the moon. So it will be visible, but it also depends upon each realm. Uh, if it is uh, uh, depends upon the weather, whether they will see it. There. So we will see by the by next year. I'm talking about still 584 days left uh, to see that if the moon will be visible in 2024. Of people, the exciting times. Serve Jesus, serve Christ, serve Him. Uh, pray, pray uh, against what the enemy is doing in the current. They got weapons in the uh, in the early days. You know, in Genesis, it said that the fallen angels taught men uh, all these things uh, uh, to do that is no wasn't described by God. But this, this is what they're doing. They have weapons to control the weather. They have weapons, the blue beam and uh, uh, all that, to fool people to believe. And that is, we see the UFOs coming before to the fore. People, we need to stay wide awake and not to be fooled by the enemy. Pray against this, you know. Pray especially against your country, your country, for your people. I'm here from South Africa, and uh, I do pray for people around the world. I pray every uh, not, not every night, uh, every night. On occasion, I open the uh, subscribe uh, book and I pray for people individually. And I do pray for you. Do pray for me as well, and communicate. Write me an email or on WhatsApp or on Messenger, whatever means you have. I love to communicate with people. Jesus is coming. Stay put. Love you all.